Ford Bronco soft top sucks. So we're gonna see if we can do something about it. Hey everybody, it's Bo with X's 4x4 and we build badass 4x4s. Well, one of the biggest complaints you'll see online on the Ford Bronco at least, is the soft top. It looks ugly and it sounds terrible, especially on the inside. I can't tell you how much I love this vehicle with the exception of the soft top. You'd be driving down the road, somebody pass you, the wind's blowing, whatever. It's super annoying and it doesn't seal up very well. Uh, there's numerous videos and pictures online, people being able to stick their hands through there, uh, the wind just picking it up and blowing it up. So we are gonna try a different soft top on it, at least until we can get a hard top for this thing, which who knows when that's gonna happen. But today I wanted to show you the difference, hopefully, in the sound quality between the factory soft top and the best top soft top. Well, both of them are gonna be twill soft tops, so the fabric's gonna be pretty much the same. Uh, the windows, everything's gonna be the same on it, but it's gonna look, it's gonna fit, and hopefully sound better than the factory soft top. So real quick, we got Ryan Park next to us, my trusty hand here at the shop, and his obnoxiously loud hemi-swapped JK. And I'm going to find a decibel meter here, but it looks like just sitting here quiet, we're around 65 decibels. Now, I'm gonna have Ryan rev it up while I hold it like kind of right here where that noise is gonna come through. Right now, just us idling, yeah, we're about 65. Now I'm gonna tell Ryan to give us some, some juice. Right there, you can see about 20 decibel gain. It's around 85, sometimes 90 uh, decibels. So hopefully we can cut down on some of that. I don't think it's the loud noises so much as it's the snaps and stuff like that that you get from like side wind gusts, stuff like that. That's what I'm hoping to mitigate here. Plus, I want it to look good. So if anything, it may not cut down on the sound much, but it's gonna get rid of some of the ugly styling that this soft top really lacks. So we're gonna pull in the shop now we're gonna rip this thing off and put the best top on. So one of the things a lot of people are complaining about online is the way this window looks kind of wavy, which to me, I don't really care because I'm used to having a Jeep and a soft top. And although the Jeep windows for the most part stay a little bit tighter looking than this, one of the reasons that you could probably say that this does is because it's held in on top by these buckles. So it's not really that tight up there. So. I've seen some people do some modifications online where they actually replaced this with an adjustable hook and they were able to tighten that up, make it look a lot better. But in my opinion, that's not gonna be enough for this top because, well, to satisfy most people and most people aren't gonna go to that much trouble, right? They'd rather just replace the whole top. And then the other thing is when this thing is shut, I mean, it looks kind of baggy. It's kind of frumpy on top. I don't know what kind of word to use, but it just doesn't look that clean. And the Trek Top NX that we're gonna put on it is definitely gonna clean up a lot of the aesthetics of this vehicle just in the top itself. Hopefully, not only is it gonna look better, but it's also gonna sound better inside. One of the things I do like about the factory soft top is the access in the rear. While this opening is still pretty large, the ability to just reach inside, undo a couple of latches easily, and then pick this up, be able to lo load some stuff in the back or whatever, get it in and out a lot easier than having to remove the whole window to do it. So that is a pretty cool feature. I think that we're gonna lose that going to the best top. Again, I'm not real sure because we haven't really explored it that much. We're going to as we install it. Another feature I like about this soft top is how it goes all the way back down, just like a traditional convertible does. That is a feature that I think we're, and feel like we're gonna lose with the best top, Trek top. I think it's gonna fold up to right here. Fortunately, that's not a big deal for me because I'm not the kind of guy that folds this soft top down. It's either gonna be on or it's gonna be off, or I'm just gonna leave the top, fold it all the way back down towards the front, and maybe just take the rear windows off. But me folding it down like this, this is not something that I do, so it's not a big deal to me.
All right, now that we've got the entire soft top changed out to the best top in X Glide, Ryan's gonna pull up next to us again, rev up his Hemi again, see if there's any audible difference between the two using our decibel meter app. Nah, looks about the same. So as far as just sitting static in one location, the noise seems to be pretty much the same. But the real test is gonna be when we get on the road and we see if the uh, crosswinds are gonna make any difference, if the ambient noises outside as we're driving down the interstate or highway, whatever, make any difference at all. But I can already tell you that just because we're getting the same decibel readings off of Ryan set next to us, just because of that, that doesn't mean anything. I can already tell that this top is quieter just pulling out of the shop into the parking lot because it is a pretty windy day out here today. We got a cold front blowing through. It sounds noticeably different than it did before. So I'm gonna turn Ryan loose, let him go home, and then we're gonna take a ride real quick and see if it's any different. We're back here in the median of the highway, I'm watching the decibel meter with traffic driving by us. Okay, so not a whole lot of difference in terms of sound there traffic going by so done with the decibel meter now I'm just gonna use the Bubba meter right so we're gonna drive along and we're gonna see does this thing actually sound quieter than before to be honest with you it does it it does sound somewhat quieter like I feel like I can have a conversation with somebody in here now I think it sounds more like a regular Jeep, uh, like any JK would sound, because it does. It actually sounds exactly like a Jeep does. This is definitely a lot different. Well, I shouldn't say a lot different. It's better to get out on the highway. Today there's a lot of crosswind with the cold front blowing in, so it's a little bit harder to tell than normal. So I feel like there's a lot more noise coming from the front of the soft top, like the header bar. But again, I don't know. It's been a while since I drove the Bronco with the other soft top on it, in, like with the same weather. So kind of not fair to give it an assessment today with this cold one blowing in. I think it should be the same conditions, yeah, maybe during the week. So I'm going to give it a couple more days, drive it when the wind settles down, and check back in with you guys. So overall, I think the install wasn't that bad. Now that I've done it once on the Bronco, uh, I know what I'm looking for. I know how to interpret best tops instructions with a little bit more grace. And um, it wasn't that bad. Realistically, probably a two hour install, even though their instructions say an hour and a half. Give yourself a couple of hours, maybe three, depending on how many people are helping you and how much beer you're paying them in. It may take a little bit longer. Also, if you guys are interested in one of these tops, make sure you reach out to me because I got a few in stock for you and I'll make you a decent deal on it.